it really, I mean, this was, uh, you know, Karen had, had uh, initiated the second edition of the Rivers of the Eastern Shore uh, book by her grandfather. And so it came out and then there was working to get some publicity for it. So she touched base with Dave Whelan, as you know, at the spy. And mm -hmm. uh, Dave was helpful with putting out the word. And he said, you know what? It might be fun to do <laughs> a little bit of a, a program uh, about the book. And uh, he said, Dennis, you, why don't you, he, he likes my voice for some reason, but he said, why don't you read a few selections from the book and Karen mm -hmm. can talk about the book a little bit and about her grandfather and all that. So it mm -hmm. all came together with the technical help of a guy named John Rock. And uh, so it works out that the format that we have been using is where Karen uh, starts off uh, talking, giving a little biography of Holbert Footner. Um, and where he got his start, his interest in Maryland, and ultimately in the Eastern Shore, and ultimately in the Rivers of the Eastern Shore, which is part of the Great Rivers of America series, which was edited by a guy down in Oxford, as it turns out. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was the one that kind of said, let's let's do one on the Rivers of the Eastern Shore. And mm -hmm. they enlisted Holbert Footner, correct, Karen? That's right. Uh -huh. To do that. So it kind of uh, it spun out from that. And uh -huh. we've so, had some fun with it. And uh, I, I've always enjoyed the book from the earliest days in the first edition. And I just thought it caught the flavor of the Eastern Shore and nice history without being some sort of a studious scholarly thing. It was much more of a, a fun read and a very well written read and with, with, with really very fine observations. So that's what I try to get to when I pick selections for these uh, different uh, events that we put together. What I try to do is dependent on where the audience is. Now, Karen kind of continues with her um, biographical information. I try to find selections that are, I think, will be pertinent to the audience mm -hmm. that we'll be with that night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, with Chestertown, we're going to be folks, and this was within collaboration with the Shore Rivers folks. Right. Yeah. So when we're in Chestertown, uh, there are things that they want to draw attention to about some of the rivers. And then mm -hmm. instead of me focusing on, for example, the Miles River or the Chop Tank River or the Wye River, I'll be focusing on the Chester River, the Sassafras, and the Bohemia. And mm -hmm. I'll pick selections from those chapters. One thing that is pretty notable about this particular edition, two things really. I mean, the Halbert Footner, his 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 work stands on its own. And it's very much a period piece, also. You know, it's not been dressed up to be politically correct, so to speak, or anything like that. It is as he saw it. And he was very much, uh, very talented as an observer, a uh, close mm -hmm. observer of society and culture and those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. So things come through in the book. Uh, Karen has written a very, very fine uh, introduction to the book well, uh, also. And then Tom Horton, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, is has 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 done a very nice uh, forward also, uh -huh. and I think it, I think it's notable that Dave did an interview with uh, Tom Horton at uh -huh. that point about the book and his writing the forward. And in that interview, Tom said, "You know, he said if I were going to uh, recommend any particular book." Uh, to give people who are moving to the Eastern Shore a taste of its history, a taste of its culture, and all that sort of thing. He said, you know what, I would put Rivers of the Eastern Shore on the top of the list. And he said, I would even put it above Michener's uh, Chesapeake book, which I thought spoke volumes. 